Don't tell me that you claim me. In fact, don't half-ass claim me. You can't be in and out at the same time with my heart. You can't just tell me that I'm your girlfriend and then flip the script and say to me that you don't want to be a homosexual and that I'm interfering with your relationship with God, how I'm standing in the way. When in essence, your ass got cold feet and that your love for me still makes you gay. In fact, what relationship with God are you talking about? The one who loves you, forgives your sins, and accepts you for you? Or the one who man says that when two homos have sex, we're sinning and it's wrong and we're going to hell. Thus coming for me and giving me this brief ex-gay, I've been delivered realness that you were displaying to me as a way to push me away. But a short time later, you realize that you fucked up. Are you that conflicted or just plain old confused? Because the last time I remember, you didn't know if God was real or unreal. In fact, you weren't deeply down for God churches, baby religions, etc., etc. Okay? Your programming needs to be tuned with a wire hanger antenna or just disconnect and deeply find yourself because your ass is lost. So much static. Whatever happened to <clears throat> going within to know thyself? To be that Christ-like being. But no one is working on themselves that way. <laughs> hey, preaching what you can't even practice and breaking hearts since 2013. <laughs> right. I think you're fully aware that your apologies make you look very sorry. And all of this emotional roller coaster about God and homosexuality and feeling guilty about being close to me sexually. Oh, let me not go there. Anyway, and my foolish ass giving you chances after chances after chances made me realize that you're not ready for a commitment. Your mental needs to be reevaluated. And you are certainly not ready for me. My emotions have been played long enough. So why bother with a hurtful, hurting, confusing woman who doesn't know how to treat a queen like a queen? A queen doesn't deserve half-ass claims nor unstable madness. My mom always told me, God don't like ugly. And baby, <laughs> your energy was sinfully ugly. Shit.